got sent some photos of it with its um, nose poking out of a barn um, from a car collection on a property in New South Wales. I showed it to Marie and um, basically... Just saw the front of it and I thought, oh my uh, god, I've uh, got to uh, have uh, it. And I didn't actually think it was so small because the chrome looked quite big. So not seeing the car, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger car. But then when I saw it, I just fell in love. It was just precious. And it's definitely a girl car. Yeah, it's a 1600 right. CC 101 series uh, twin cam engine, as sort of most of the Alps of the period um, had. Carried right on through for almost 45 years of production, this basic engine. Pretty much the, the regular Alpha recipe in that that regard, except of course, this being a, an, an early model like it is, single carburetor, Two barrel downdraft um, weaver rather than the side draft, which is much more twin side drafts, much more common on the um, later versions of the engine. Uh, four speed? Uh, five speed. Five, five speed, five right. Speed, okay. Speed. Deluxe. So, what sort of shape was she in when you got it? Not bad, considering okay. how she came. She had no rust, hardly, at all. Yeah, yeah. So, she's had a very good life in South Australia and. New South Wales. Okay. Yeah, well, once again, I suspect that this was probably the uh, its life in Wyala, however long it was over there. We didn't have to do not one single bit of repair on the floor. There was a little bit in the usual places on the sill, um, you know, behind the front wheel, ahead of the rear wheel. Yeah. But um, other than that, that, that almost summarises um, what, what had to be done in terms of um, body. doing the doing rust repair on the body which is really unusual that's, that's for one incredible. of these early um, yeah. Juliettas. It had been partially dismantled um, by a previous owner, an older fellow who had a lot of projects perhaps good at dismantling, not so good at putting back together, that might be the best description, but reasonably complete. But a lot of the smaller items, of course, the bright work and so on, was not in particularly good condition, so right. obviously a lot of uh, refinishing, re-chroming, and a long process of uh, also hunting down um, new old stock parts. Not easy to come by for the sedan models because obviously the the, the spiders, the convertibles and the two doors are much more commonly um, restored these days right. and there's a lot of parts available for those but um, the poor old four doors tend to languish and often become mechanical parts cars for the uh, for the convertibles and the two doors. And, and the original colour? French blue in, in brackets, formerly known as Swiss blue, same same colour, same okay. code, Righto. change of name. <laughs> yeah. Probably Righto. sold more in France because yeah. of the blue. And as for the um, interior and that, looking through um, period sales brochures and and period Italian magazines, road tests and oh, things, of course. Okay. we um, yeah. got the uh, the, the colour combinations and tones and that sort of thing so then we got the whole lot back here as a bare shell and um, I in the meantime um, rebuilt most of the mechanical items engine gearbox diff, right. suspension rebushing and all that and, and the piece de resistance the original toolkit yes. and the original toolkit yes yes that's what everybody gets excited about yes. I hear <laughs> <laughs> Those spanners with Alfa Romeo on it. Oh right. my God, gold. Uh, Marie, it's your car. Yes. Uh, you drive it. Yes. You like driving it. I love it. What do you love about driving it? Just, just driving it and just getting the expressions of people's faces when you stop at the lights. So, they, because you're a left-hand drive to start off, with, trying to work out what the hell it is. Yep. When you take her out, everybody smiles and everybody just enjoys having seen her. 